so something that I feel like Holy Spirit kind of told me last night was just like I am blessed how my life is now because a lot of the time I would focus on the fact that like oh this blessing hasn't happened yet so like where are you God you know Like, this hasn't happened the way that I thought it was going to happen or in the timing that I thought it was going to happen. So, like, is God even going to provide for me? And you have to take a second and look back and be like, wow, he already has provided for me. Like, he's brought me very far in life and the place that I am now is because of God and I'm really happy to be where I am right now. Um, so... Even though I don't see the direct blessing I'm wanting, it doesn't mean he hasn't been there for me. I need to just like take a step back and be like, wow, thank you, God. Like just to be more grateful. Um, because there's so many things God does that we just kind of let slip by because we're focusing on something else. Something more that we want rather than something amazing God has already done. Um, yeah, and just to regardless of what happens in my life it doesn't change the fact that God is good um, yeah it will not change the fact of God just being good and God loving me as I am you know it doesn't happen that's okay and whatever that may be for you you know if you're trying to work harder to get more money or trying to get this house that you really want and feeling like if you know God's gonna help you with that or whether it's you know wanting in a new really good friend group or this new lifestyle change or a big breakthrough whatever it may be having faith is important but also even if it doesn't happen or doesn't happen the way you thought it doesn't change the fact that God is still good and that he's still loving and merciful and powerful and gracious and kind it just means he has something better in store maybe he's protecting you from something that you can't see right now and maybe you'll never see it until you get to heaven and God will be like hey this is what I did for you then and you'll be like wow Thank you, Lord. You're awesome. You know, because there's, there's so much going on around us in the spiritual realm that we do not see. And God's timing is not like our timing. Um, I read in Jude today, it talked about how a day for God is like a thousand years, and a thousand years on earth is like a day for God. Like, timing is really different in heaven. So he's, he's never slow to do things. We just have to learn to be patient while he's moving. But yeah, just, just focus our attention on God rather than the things that we want, you know, because God's not here to grant our wishes, he's here to guide us through life, and we're here to spread the gospel. You know, we should have less of us, more of God, and whatever your daily life life looks like you know you don't have to be doing ministry on, online to share the gospel you don't have to um be a pastor you don't have to go to church you do not have to um do street evangelism like sharing the gospel can be simply talking about god to your coworker, or simply having a conversation with someone when you see them doing something that you've you know, it's just not right. Or maybe you feel Holy Spirit leading you to talk to someone. That's spreading the gospel. Just being a light shows, you know, the joy that God gives us and letting that shine through you. Just being a bubbly person, people see that and they gravitate towards that. And then when they do that, then they ask you, why are you so happy? There's your cue to be like, oh, it's Jesus. So, whatever your life may look like, whatever your job is, you can still spread the gospel and still be a servant for Christ and yeah 
God loves you so much, and He's got a wonderful plan for your life, and you just have to be still and trust in Him. Also, just focus on Him. Regardless of how your life turns out, He's still a good God. And He loves you. And He's got you. Get blessed.